It's back to school time, and you know what that means. Back to school expenses. I've never been happier to have a sinking fund called back to school expenses ever. Seriously, ever. What up guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my husband Mauricio, my daughter Melina and I are on a debt-free process to pay off well over $300,000 in debt. I'm pretty sure at this point we're pretty close to broaching 400,000, I think. Actually, it's like 350,000 with the addition of those new loans. So today we are going over next month's budget and we are going to discuss everything that we've got going on and everything that we are planning on spending our money on. So let's jump on in. So in our utilities category, we have $215.14 for our cell phones. And we have $270 in our budget for our storage unit. And if you don't know why we have a storage unit, I'm going to point you up here to the eye in the sky. I'm not joking when I say every time that I mention that storage unit and I don't point to the eye in the sky to explain, I get questions and I'll tell you right now, I'm not getting rid of my stuff. I love my stuff. Love, love, love it. And uh, the vast majority of it is irreplaceable. And one day, if we ever move into our own place, you will understand. Because our stuff is awesome. In our transportation category, we have... $100 for gas. And yes, Mauricio and I are back to commuting together. Woohoo! I am so excited about that, mostly because it cuts way down on gas. But gas has gotten crazy expensive lately. We have $70 for the Easy Pass. $50 for a renewal for one of our registrations. And that's all we got in the transportation category. And then comes the Molina category. And that is a 13 line item nightmare. And I remembered last year this time, we decided to start a school, beginning of the school year, like sinking fund. And if you don't know what a sinking fund is, let me point you up to this video up here in the eye in the sky. And that'll walk you through sinking funds and it'll make a lot of sense to you. But we realized that at the beginning of the school year last year, we were hemorrhaging money for Molina. And this list is no exception. So this year we decided to create a sinking fund and did it as a preventative measure for stress and strife. And I have never been gladder that I did something. So let's go over Melina's category. We have $50 for the school classroom mom to go for class expenses. We have $608 for before and after care. We have $150 for a PTO donation. And when I say donation, the PTO at Molina's school is one of those that says, we're not going to make you buy stuff during the year if you give us a donation. And I am all kinds of on board with that. I actually think my $150 donation would be way cheaper than if she brought home like Yankee candles and all of that every month. <laughs> then we are planning on getting our flu shot this year. So the flu shot is fairly traumatic for us. Melina has a exceptional fear of needles. And so we put in $15 for the post flu shot ice cream. We have $60 for school bucks, which is school lunches for Melina. And she generally takes her lunch to school every day, but we let her buy lunch one day a week and she gets to pick the day. So that's for that. And that'll probably last two months, but, you know, we put it in there and let her buy. If she's really hungry, we'll let her buy other stuff, too. Then we have $200 in there for winter swim team expenses. And I'm not sure how much those are going to be, but her summer swim team practice is all through the winter. And it's a one-time fee at the beginning of the school year. So I'm not sure when that's coming or how much it'll be, but I've heard it's between $100 and $200. And then we will have $180 in the budget for other swimming classes. She 
love swimming and I am all about the exercise that goes with swimming. And then there's a $45 fee for before and after care just for registration. And that happens at the beginning of the school year every year. And then this line item we're going to discuss at our budget meeting. We're not 100% sure we're going to keep it in. But we want Melina to have Spanish classes. We are not doing well with Spanish. We tr we've tried everything, but we inevitably revert back to English in our house every time. And so until we can get to the point where we are speaking Spanish with Melina all the time, or at least Mauricio is, we need to have some sort of Spanish lessons in there because we spent the whole summer getting her up to speed with Spanish and she is now speaking, um, you know, in full sentences and conversation in Spanish. And, and it's, you know, young Spanish, but it's developing so much. So we decided that we're going to go ahead and look at, at a Spanish tutor for her, maybe that can come to the school or maybe one of the Spanish teachers at school because they do have Spanish at school um, will tutor her and that will keep her Spanish going and we'll still work on getting Mauricio and I into the Spanish but again we're going to discuss it because it is a hefty chunk of change that we're going to be putting towards Spanish and swimming every month and that takes away from our snowball but we're all about living life while paying off debt so you know this is life, but I'll keep you updated. And then we have the BASA fall cycle, which is some extracurricular activities that they do at aftercare, which gets them out and about and running around and exercising and stuff. I'm a big fan. And then we have $25 in there for miscellaneous expenses associated with Melina because something always comes up like a field trip that I didn't know about or maybe like a birthday party I didn't know about something always comes up then we have $30 for back to school night movie night which is so much fun they show a movie on the baseball field and soccer field in the back on this huge screen and you bring picnics and blankets and it's just lovely and then we have $100 in there for a Halloween costume. I have no idea what Melina wants to be. And we try and get her a costume that she can wear over and over and over again because she loves to play dress up. So we do that a lot. I'm betting it's going to be something Descendants related though. If you haven't seen Descendants, highly recommend it. It's a super cute movie for kids. Then in our insurance and tax category, we have $12 for CMFG insurance and $35.83 for life insurance for Mauricio. And then our USAA car and renters insurance, which covers our storage unit, is not drafted through every dollar so we don't have it in there and then my life insurance is also not drafted through every dollar but I like to keep it in there just so I know I won't forget it in our cash category I am upping the grocery money because now that I am eating so many fruits and vegetables every day which is doing wonderful things for my weight by the way I'm running out of money early so we're bumping that up to $500. I anticipate we'll probably have to bump it up again if I continue eating this way. And truthfully, I love eating this way. This makes me the happiest to eat this way. So why not do it? I'm a big fruits and vegetables girl. I always have been. Then we have $200 for blow money, $20 for the dry cleaner, $25 for Mauricio's haircut, which is $20 for the haircut and $5 for a tip. And then $40 for Sally Beauty Supply because it's time to buy some hair color. And then $100 for family outings, which starting September, October, family outings get super fun. I'm all about the fall, even though it's like a million and one degrees outside. I love the fall. Is it wrong that I want to wear like a big wool sweater and a scarf? when it's 95 degrees outside. Still don't like pumpkin spice. Moving on. In reoccurring and annual expenses, we have $34.96 for iTunes. I feel like that should be less. That $34.96 carried over from last month included a movie rental that I got on iTunes. So it's actually like $30.97, I think. So I'm gonna have to change that. See, YouTube, 
Saves your budget. Weight Watchers is $44.95. Audible is $14.95. Skype is $25. And Amazon Music is $3.99. In my YouTube category, we have $4.50 for TubeBuddy, $5 for Backblaze, $9 for Morning Fame, and $19.95 for a YouTube group I belong to. In our medical category, we have $90 for some medication that Mauricio is taking. $35 for a follow-up visit for Mauricio, and $35 for an appointment with my neurologist. In our work expenses category, we are down to $22 for parking. Woo -woo. Last month, because we were taking two cars, there was always a question of how much parking Mauricio would have to do in the parking garage, which is $11 a day. But when we are traveling together, the risk is much lower, but we put $22 in there because there are days that we have to drive separately for one reason or another. And in our sinking funds, the category that sucks my money away, but I love every day. We have $150 for medical expenses. Ooh, I haven't told you guys. So, you know, I get injections in my neck from here to here, I my neck is paralyzed for dystonia. And so I get the injections every three months and those generally cost about $350. So I just found out that Disport or Desport or Disport or however you say it, they actually have a copay program where they will give you up to $5,000 a year to pay for your injections. So I enrolled in that and I haven't gotten a, a pay payment yet, but I might not have the crazy $300 medical expenses every couple of months. So keep your fingers crossed that that works. I'm super excited about this. Back to sinking funds. So then we have $100 for the car repair replace sinking fund, $100 for the Christmas sinking fund, $100 for the emergency trip to Columbia sinking fund, $50 for the miscellaneous school expenses sinking fund. We're not putting anything to our emergency fund because it's fully funded and $200 to our summer camp sinking fund. We really do need to consider upping that soon, but we haven't yet because we have priorities. And then $1,000 to our trip to Columbia in December. And if you are unaware, we go to Columbia about, historically it was once a year. Now we're going about once every 18 months to two years. It has been two full years since the last time we went to Columbia. And so we are going down to visit Mauricio's parents and we are so incredibly excited. And of course, we will take you along with us. And then in our online category, we have $100 for Amazon because we always spend $100 on Amazon. And in our cushion category, we have $100. And our cushion category is named this. But I can't say that on YouTube or I'll get demonetized. YouTube's so sensitive. And this month we are putting $6,657.64 to debt. Ah! And it's an every dollar budget according to every dollar, which means it is a zero based budget. So our income and our outgo are equal. So. I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.